as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Houston Astros. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. One and one, here it comes. Two balls, one strike. A swing and a ground ball to third. And there's one down now. Sliding into the box, Yohan Moncada. Yohan Moncada. Down low, two balls and a strike. To two and two now. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty changeup away. Is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit to first, scooped up. He'll feed it to Scherzer, covering to record the out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon. Now the three and two pitch. Popped up. Alonzo is there for it. And that's the third out. Stepping in, Ronald Acuna. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the 2 1 pitch. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Stepping in, Jeff McNeil, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. The count now at two and two. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. And a fastball that blew it right good. by him, and there are two no down. Field. Two Error. out, nobody on. Yeah. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. It's up and out of here into the archways. Into the box now, Pete Alonzo. Nope. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. George Springer the next to hit. He'll get us started in the top of the second. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna's there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Standing in, Trevor Story. Trevor Story.
Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. And he is in there. That is good. The first baseman, Jose Abreu. At the plate now, Jose Abreu. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Gallo is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Striding forward now is the DH, Didi Gregorius. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Ball two. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. The 3 2 pitch. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. So stepping in, Christian Vasquez. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. One and two. Here it is. Swing and a miss. And that ends the inning. with the plate Joey Gallo as they'll have five six and seven here to start the home half of the second the two one takes a pass and misses that strike two not much you can do with that one tied him up in knots two two pitch is a fastball high so it runs full three and two no pitcher likes to take the count to three and two especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two that one wasn't even close at the plate Torres and boy that misses as well it's back to back walks to start out the inning now the Astros designated hitter Michael Conforto he'll get to take his first cuts here Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That nibbled the corner there, but missed. 2-1. and one. On the ground to third. Rendon has it. A tag for one. On to first, and they get them both. So the big band of Miguel Sano digs in next. Miguel. The set. And the one two slow roller down the third baseline reined in throw over to Abreu is in time and with it the side is retired. Adam Eaton digging in next past battles with Scherzer he's a 333 hitter five for 15. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. And right into the shift. He's got it. On to first, and Scherzer's on a roll now, two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Johan Moncada. It's up to a 3-2 full count now. 
hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring up Anthony Rendon. Now the one and one pitch. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Hard hit ball to second. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Digging in, Omar Narvaez as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Now the one and one pitch. Two one. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. Fouled off. The next three two. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. The relay, and he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Up next to the Astros, the center fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. Into the box, Ronald Acuna. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Popped him up. Vasquez over to his right. One out. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take Number a turn. Three. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting picked. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And that one is gone. In now, Aaron Judge. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Good chance he's not seeing that pitch again. If he does, it's got to be bounced. But I'll tell you from a pitcher's perspective, that's nothing but a long strike. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Now that first pitch. So here's Pete Alonso. He's 0 for 1 after oh, grounding Alonso. out in his only trip to the plate so far. One and two now as that one's fouled off. to two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he tries to get him to reach for it but it stays outside three and two. Joey Gallo would be next. Hit high and deep out to left field. Eaton retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. be the four hole hitter George Springer he flew out in his last at bat almost Matty almost went deep his last AB certainly just missed it with this guy's big power he's feeling pretty good at the dish look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB 
pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here capitalize on the momentum his batters have judge is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down now that stepping into the box the Trevor story Trevor Story. the one one and strike two swinging now, one and two. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired here to begin Not inning bad. number four. So here's the slugging first baseman Jose Abreu now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Well, I'll even at two and two. Line to the right side. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. The throw into second. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. Now batter, designated hitter. The ball. Stepping in now, Didi Gregorius in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Joey Gallo. He'll lead things off against Garrett Cole. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving oh, into the good. later innings. Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Up next to the Coming to the plate now, Torres. Top. He drew a walk his first time up. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. He's set. Here's the two two. Well, I think this is the kind of approach they need against such a prolific starter. You can't count on putting up a lot of runs, so getting him out of the game has to be the priority. Working at bats, full counts, running up the pitch count is a great way of doing that. And boy, that misses as well. It's back-to-back -back walks to start out the inning. Now batter, the at the plate, Michael Conforto. Conforto. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Here's Miguel Sano. 0 for 1 yeah, for him here in this one. The third baseman, Miguel Sano. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at 3 and 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Stepping into the box, Omar Narvaez. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. The 1-1. One, one. This is hit the other way out toward left field. After it is eaten, he gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Stepping up now, Christian Vasquez. And he'll lead things off against Max Scherzer. One and two to the Yankees catcher. I got to count one and two. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out. One away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And the next to bat is speedy Adam Eaton. Slapped hard the opposite way. But unfortunately right after shortstop for the second out. 
So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Mookie yeah. Betts. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Ready for another shot now, Ronald Acuna, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Into the Crawford boxes and gone. To the plate now, Jeff McNeil. Two and one. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. Hits this one hard the other way. Rendon is there. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. The 3-1. And he swings on top and sends it on the ground out to second. That's through. And he's now two for three in this one. Anthony DiSclefani enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. At the plate, Pete Alonso. Hot shot on the ground is short. Story brings it in. There's Moncada on to first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. It was a walk in his last trip. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. The 1-1. Swung on and missed for strike number two. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. Now back. Two away now in the Yankees sixth. And former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, And that ends the inning. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. A couple of walks for him thus far. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Nope. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Astro shortstop in front with a three and one count. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Digging in, Michael Conforto. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1-1 one pitch. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. 
And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. The 2-2. Two -two. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Into the box now, Miguel Sano. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. The 2-1. Fouled away. Gallo on third. Torres at second with one away. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now better. Ready once the again, Kevin. Omar Narvaez. Omar. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Popped him up. Vasquez is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Trevor Story steps in now. One for two on his line so far in the game. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Judge moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. So here's Jose Bringer. One for two with a double on his line thus far. The 1-1. One, one. Now Abreu connects deep to left. It's up onto the train tracks and out of here. Into the box now, Didi Gregorius. Swing and a drive to right center. Hey, that ball's going to be way out of here. Back to back home runs. Standing in now, Christian Vasquez. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Christian Vasquez goes down for out number two in the top half. And he nope. takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The right so it's a runner at first with two men out. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. A ball and two strikes now. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three. Oh, and they oh. weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Acuna digs in now. He's working on a one for three thus far. A 1 1 home. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And he will get there to make the running catch as that ball hung up just a little bit too long. Now so back. here's Jeff McNeil. He was a ground out victim last time up. Four runs, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And that's going to be high two and two now. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Springer is camped under this one. Two gone. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Now the three and two pitch. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. 
shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Brandon Workman has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 44. So here's Yuan Moncada. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. The count now at two and one. Now here it comes. Ball three. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tie run to the plate. And it's fouled away. The bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. So striding in, Anthony Rendon. And he's 0 for in this one, batting out of the three spot. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. The next 3 2. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Acuna's there for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, George Springer. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And that misses two and one. Getting late, 4 2 our score as we play the eighth inning. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. And this is taken low for ball four. And they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. Now batting. And that brings in the power Trevor. hitting shortstop Trevor Story. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Two and two. A runner on first with two away. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Keith Alonzo. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the now home eight. Left fielder. Here's Joey Gallo now. It was a walk Gallo. in his last trip. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. How about it? So a runner at first now with one away. And that will bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Alonzo leads off first with one away. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. To two balls and two strikes now. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. There to play it is Springer, and that's out number two. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Michael Conforto. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 2 2. Four runs, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Fouled away. Oh, 
that misses and it's going to set up a big pitch now three and two. These are the kind of A.B.'s regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four and as a result that will move a runner up into scoring position the now with two man. away. Scott Ober enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Miguel Sano will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. Good slider there but laid off and called a ball low. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Giovanni Gallegos comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Riding in once again, Jose Abreu. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now that Digging in to try it again. Didi Gregorius. He's one for two in this one. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Now a crowd of 31,000 plus come to their feet. This is foul right side. Last chance for the Yankees. High in the air down the right field line. Heading after it is Judge, and he tracks it down, and this ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home, so this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. Four to two, the final score tonight. Houston jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Max Scherzer pitches well enough to get the W, so that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, four runs on five hits, no errors, they left eight men on base. For the Yankees, two runs on four hits, no errors, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 46 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.